It is with great pleasure that I join you tonight in celebrating Active Transportation Alliance's 35th anniversary eBash. I am very grateful to be the recipient of the Visionary Leadership Award. I know there are several people who could have been selected as honoree. So to have been considered and to actually receive the award is an honor and a privilege. So thank you, Active Trans. My relationship with Active Trans began with the Chicagoland Bicycle Federation under the leadership of Randy Newfeld. I learned many things from Randy, but I must say the most memorable was not something he said, but from what he did. We had a meeting in downtown Chicago on one of our infamous polar vortex-like days. I remember it being so cold that I thought of maybe skipping the meeting and staying home by the fireplace. But I put on my bare soldier field gear and trudged on to the meeting. Just before the meeting was to start, in came Randy with icicles hanging off his eyebrows, his mustache, not to mention his clothes and backpack. He looked like he was an escaped abominable snowman. Now I am a believer in means of transportation other than a car but, and support cycling as one of those options. But in temperate weather, not a polar vortex, I had never seen anyone bike in such conditions and frankly didn't know anyone would. What's wrong with a bus or an L ride in such conditions? So I am profoundly respectful of you hearty souls and committed cyclists who have beliefs similar to the post office motto. Neither snow, nor rain, nor heat, nor gloom of night stays these couriers from their swift completion of their appointed rounds. Over the intervening years, as Bicycle Federation morphed into the current Active Transportation Alliance, CNT and Active Trans have worked on numerous issues and policy campaigns to promote transportation options that are better for our environment, healthier for our residents, reduce greenhouse gas emissions, and affect public reforms in our transportation agencies. I believe in transportation options because I am concerned about our planet, how we are destroying it by reliance on the internal combustion engines that spew volatile organic pollutants into our atmosphere. I am committed to transportation options because not everyone can afford a car. Or if they did invest in one, they limit their choices for more wealth building options like home ownership or higher education. I am also passionate about transportation choices because the automobile has contributed to the sprawling of our region, gobbling up precious valuable farmland and covering it with impermeable concrete, asphalt, and steel. Active Trans and c and are aligned in these efforts to promote active transportation and transit. Active Trans calls attention to the recreational and commuter benefits of walking and cycling through promoting Bike to Work Week, Bike the Drive, and other events. If you haven't supported these events, give serious thoughts to doing so. Active Trans also plays a leadership role in getting residents all over the region to be activists and get involved in letting decision makers know they support transportation options. So I'm honored to be recognized by such a reliable partner organization. I would like to thank Ron Burke, former CEO, and Kyle Whitehead, who partnered with CNT as we launched the Transit Future Campaign that has seen some fruition in the Cook County Long Range Transportation Plan and in the Fair Fares pilot that is currently operating. Thanks also to current CEO Amy Rynell for supporting the partnership we have by co-chairing the Transportation Equity Network. Thanks also to CNT and our CEO Bob Dean and all my current and former colleagues for allowing me to follow my passion in working for a better tomorrow. And I would be remiss if I did not thank my children and my extended family for being the support I've needed to commit myself 
to a lifetime of service. So thank you, Active Trans, for playing with me all these years. I am sincerely grateful for this recognition, but our efforts to make transportation alternatives the way we get around is not done. If I might quote our hometown poet, Robert Foss, who wrote in his poem, Stopping by Woods on a Snowy Evening. But I have promises to keep and miles to go before I sleep and miles to go before I sleep. We have done much. We have influenced many reforms. We have advanced transportation options that have made a difference but we still have miles to go before we sleep. So thank you all and good night.